Oh, here's another fun one that I get often. I really hate this one, by the way. You're so talented. You're so talented, Michael. No, I'm not. <laughs> Never have been. I don't even believe in talent. I think people have an aptitude for certain things. And when you have an aptitude for something, you know, maybe you're tall, so you go into base, basketball, and, you know, you find that you can score better than other people, you know. And so you naturally have a positive reinforcement there. So you learn to love the sport you're playing. That's an aptitude. It's not a talent. All, all, all you're doing is you have a, an entry point, you know. But if you inject will into the beginning of that process, you know, you have somebody that wills themselves to be good. Or wills themselves to make the steps to, in, you know, learn to enjoy something. It doesn't matter what it is. Then they practice it. And you practice it. And you practice it. Until you get good at it and then you enjoy it. It's just... To me, it, it, it's it's almost mathematical, you know? <laughs> you know? But people always chalk it up to talent. They, they like this idea of this ethereal thing. This natural excuse to not try. Talent. Oh, he's such a good artist. Or he's incredible linguist or whatever. He's such a natural at it. He's such a talent. And I know there are fringe circumstances. This is where people come in and they're like, well, what about, uh, what's that swimmer called? Phelps? I don't know. Or was he the, the cyclist? I don't know. The guy that looks like a fucking fish. The American who wins all the medals. Um, I understand there's fringe cases like that where a guy is literally like a freak mutation. So he's just better. You know, that's okay, too. You don't have to be the best, though. You know, and it's, it's, you don't have to be the best. You can just be like a world-class whatever. And, and you can work hard and do that. It's not talent. Um, talent. What a stupid concept. And, and it, that's all it is. It's just a way for people to say, I don't want to try. Uh, and I get it so much. I get it all the time. You know, you post your art. Like, I'm not even that good, too. You post your art or your wood things, and people are like, oh, you're so talented. Like, fuck off. And then they're like, I wish I could do something like that. And my answer is always the same. I'm like, you can. I can teach you. Like, it's really not that hard. All you have to do is enjoy it and work hard at it. Like, the only factor in anything is time and effort. That's it. I mean, obviously there are limitations. Like if you don't have any fucking arms or something, then you might have difficulty, I don't know, being a boxer. But, you know, leave the ridiculous anomalies at the side because it it's, doesn't lend well to the argument. I believe in infinite human potential. Um, I don't even believe really in fucking innate intelligence. I think that... If you're, you could come from anywhere. People think that intelligence is like genetic. It's not genetic. There's some aspects to it that are genetic, but everything that you learn through life, if you're in the right environment and you have the right interests and you have forged yourself a will to be better, then you can learn anything. Anybody can be anything. You could take somebody with like super low IQ and teach them something, anything. Teach them a new language, doesn't matter. Teach them uh, how to run some sort of machine, become an engineer. I don't know. Like, they might not be the best at it, but I just don't see the point in saying you can't do something. To tell people that they're, you, you, know, you don't have the, the aptitude for it, you don't have the talent, you know, the potential. It's just so ridiculous because I, I just, I can see anybody doing anything. And especially when it's something like art. No, I'm just talking like traditional art. 
Like, there's so many, like, renowned artists out there that are fucking garbage. Like, technically speaking, their work is shit. You know, and you're telling me that my 80-year-old neighbor can't learn to draw? Like, fuck off. And, you know, art is, is so subjective as well. Everybody has their own style, and, you know, if I was teaching, I would love to see people's style. But you can't do that if the the initial motivation is not there if somebody has already defeated themselves before you even start you know um if they're like oh i i can't draw i can't run i have two left feet i can't do this because xyz <sighs> yeah it's just so pessimistic you know I have to wonder where that comes from, too, because it seems so convenient uh, to keep people down. But I just see potential in everyone. And I wish I didn't, because it means that I care more. And I don't want to care, but I just see potential. I don't believe in talent. You just have to work hard. You have to want it. That's it. This is the only thing really that ever matters ever. Just fucking work hard. <laughs>